Good morning. I am recording this as I always record it on an iPhone. It's the most amazing instrument. I used to think about mobile phones as just a means of telephoning one person after another. But on this iPhone, I got all sorts of little apps. And as I press the button on those apps, I have access to multitudes of different bits of information. Just last week, I pressed the, the app that said BBC News, and immediately I was listening to somebody speaking to me from Japan. Another one I press, and it gives me access to all my finances, a, an instrument which I'm coming to appreciate more and more. Now, this morning, I want to speak about the sacraments of the Church. All week, we've been talking about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And one of the ways the Holy Spirit outpours his grace into our lives are through the sacraments of the church. We have baptism, where we acknowledge what Jesus has done for us and accept the fact that we are being brought into the body of Christ. We have confirmation, where we pray for people to be infilled with the Spirit. We have communion, where we recognize our fellowship with one another and with Jesus as we receive the body and blood of Christ in communion. We have people set aside for special functions when they are prayed for and ordained to carry out those functions within the church. We have marriage, where man and woman come together and acknowledge their relationship with one another as God brings them closer and closer together. We have the anointing of the sick, and in this sacrament we see God's grace released into people's lives, both to forgive their sins to prepare them towards the end of their lives, but more than that, to give them health when they're suffering in body, mind or spirit. And of course, we've got the sacrament of penance, where we confess our sins to God and before one another and receive his forgiveness. As Jesus says, those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. And God acknowledges this and forgives the sins as they stand between them and God. We have these great sacraments of the church. Now, whenever people start talking about these sacraments, we come to the point where we often get bored because, of course, they have great detail and they have great meaning and they have great influence on our lives. This morning, I want to deal with all seven in just five minutes. I'm going to do this by quite simply giving you an analogy. I see the sacraments as God's apps. God's apps. In other words, we have them there in our lives. And as we start to use them, as we start to enter into them, God opens up vast channels of grace for us. We come to the Eucharist, for instance, and suddenly we're not just on our own or together in a small group, We are one with the whole church, the whole church throughout the world, the whole church throughout time, with Jesus as our head, receiving his body, receiving his blood, acknowledging him as our Savior and Lord, being built up into the body of Christ. You know, you can never really explain that. It is beyond all understanding. But as we press the app, as we press the app, suddenly all of this opens up to us. In the same way as I pressed the app on my phone and got all those people from all different parts of the world telling me what is going on in their countries. I similarly, I can press the Google app and I can find the names of people. I can reach out to people. A vast amount of information. Yet on the phone, it just looks like a small little symbol. Well, these sacraments of the church are these small symbols. They actually exist for us and God gives them to us in order that we might use them. We might take a whole lifetime finding out what marriage is all about. We can take a whole lifetime finding out what the baptism of the Spirit is all about and confirmation is all about. I know I have taken a whole lifetime trying to find out what ordination is all about and what God is asking of those who are are ordained in this way. But he gives them to us as just a small symbol. When I was ordained, Well, as I was trained for it for many years, I know. But at the actual ordination itself, it only took about an hour. But that app opens up to me all of God's grace 
as it pours into my life and has been pouring into my life ever since it happened. So if you want to try to understand this and thank God for the sacraments of the church, I advise you quite simply to think of them in the same way as you see the apps on your telephone. They are God's little symbols, but as you touch them, as you use them, suddenly a whole world opens up in front of you, a world that you, that's there and exists in order to bless you and to build you up as the children of God. Amen.